Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you're highly welcome. So today I'm gonna to be talking about why you should dress modestly. <laughs> So this is going to be a bit of a deep topic, oh, I don't know if it's going to be that deep, but I'm going to be talking about myself and I don't like talking about myself so it's going to be a little bit personal to me but I just wanted to do this video because I know that summer is coming, it's temptation, you get a lot of temptation to actually dress less modestly because it's hot and everyone is basically half revealed on the streets so you kind of get tempted i wanted to actually do this video just to actually tell you the importance of dressing modestly at the same time show you that modest wear does not restrict you so if you wear different type of fabrics on your body you actually feel okay you won't feel as hot as everyone else as well so this outfit i actually wore in one of my previous videos and it's just a simple, lovely outfit. I'll put a link above for you guys to check it out. It's just some summer trends for you guys to actually see how beautiful you can dress modestly at the same time following the trends in UK. So I'll put a link above for you guys to check it out. And I have a note here, so I'm gonna be looking at the note just to remind myself what topic I'm actually gonna talk about. So first things first, I'm gonna start with my own story and how I started wearing hijab and what benefited me along the way and what was negative when I actually didn't wear hijab before. So my story is, I started wearing hijab, I think 2016, I mentioned in my previous video before, I'll put the link above as well if you wanna check it out. Started wearing hijab in 2016 and the reason why I started wearing hijab is because I fell in love with Islam. I just wanted to embrace Islam as much as possible really. So when I was reading the Quran I came across a verse that mentioned that Muslim women should actually wear hijab to actually protect themselves. And I absolutely loved it because it made me realize the importance of actually praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So wearing hijab is not like one of the major key things to do in Islam, but it's something that will benefit you as an individual in general. So I would highly recommend it for anyone that actually wants to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and want to get a reminder on a daily basis because you could be walking in the street and you actually see your reflection in the mirror. So you'll be like, oh, Oh yes, I'm wearing a hijab. I'm actually representing Islam, even though it's not in a broad level. We all individuals that it's not perfect. We're not perfect human beings. We can make mistakes, but as an individual, I can control what I can control in my life. I can't control what anyone else does out there. So when I do see my reflection, it kind of gives me a reminder to behave the way I want to be perceived. So it helps me to actually give me a reminder, oh, you're a Muslim girl, you're a Muslim woman, you need to actually behave like a Muslim woman, you need to take care of yourself, you need to love yourself, you need to actually be there for yourself. Not to show people that you're actually, you're a good Muslim, but to remind yourself that you're a Muslim and you're trying your best to become a better Muslim. So that is my story. It was, it was really hard in the beginning to start wearing hijab. So I started off by wearing a turban just to take it easy and then dress a little bit more modestly along the way. And eventually I started wearing the hijab and actually covering myself. Until now, I still make mistakes. Sometimes I'll wear like tight clothes by mistake, not realizing it's tight. And then when I go out, I realize, oh God, this is tight. <laughs> so I need to not wear this anymore. But you can wear almost anything as long you, you can even put a cardigan to cover it up as long you don't show your figure and your clothes is not see-through and it's not sexualized, it's perfectly fine. You will look beautiful at the same time you'll feel good about yourself. My number two topic on my list is negativity. So the negative of me not dressing modestly before. So I think before wearing hijab, people didn't really respect me for who I was. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. But for me, in general, I've, I felt like I wasn't seen for who I am. I was seen for what I look like, you know, like dressing unmodestly, revealing your skin and people are just sexualizing you. Men's especially sexualizing you in a way that you don't want to be perceived. So I feel like the benefit of actually dressing modestly is people listening to you, getting to know you for who you are, listening to what words come out, listening to your body language and listening to actually, oh, this girl is not just about what she looks like, but she actually has a personality inside. So I, I really, really 
embrace the fact that I am seen for who I am personally, not for what I look like. Thirdly, the benefit of dressing modestly. Like I mentioned in the beginning, it gives you a reminder that you're actually a Muslim and it gives you a reminder to behave like a Muslim. It gives you a reminder to actually be a better person and aim to become a better you. Every single day is a journey. So it's like dressing modestly. One day you might not get it right. One day you might get it right and you'll feel good about it. So I think that's one of the benefits of dressing modestly is having that reminder that you're Muslim, having that reminder that everyone around you loves you for who you are, not for what you look like, you know? And the second bit of dressing modestly is, it saves you so much money. Like, I don't need to be worrying about, oh, I need to straighten my hair before I go out. I don't need to be worrying about buying this and that. I still do my hair, I still look after myself, but I don't go to the next extent where I have to be spending money every single day just to look beautiful. So I feel like dressing modestly actually saves you a lot of money along the way because you're just literally looking after yourself outfit wise but at the same time it's not too tight and going talking about outfit now another benefit of dressing modestly is you can actually go to the shop and you're not going to worry about purchasing something that's too tight and you know when there's like sales or anything like that normally it's a bigger size clothes that's left over <laughs> so a benefit of dressing modestly is you can find cheap clothes for less you know because if you like oversized clothes like me, you'll be able to find sales clothes that's bigger size but still looks nice for you for you to buy. Personally, I love ordering stuff online. I love purchasing my items online. So another benefit of that is as well, I don't really return any of my clothes because I like loose outfits. So I know within within the online retailing industry there's many many returns because obviously you don't get the chance to try the outfit on and actually see how it fits on your body but as a hijabi and dressing modestly i feel, I feel like anytime i purchase an item online i literally barely get to return it i don't remember the last time i even returned the item because normally it's loose maybe one two size bigger than my own original size so it's normally loose it doesn't need to be fitted and I absolutely love that and finally the last benefit of dressing modestly is that people don't get to see you like they don't see you in a sexualized way especially men's because I'm not saying not anyone is perfect because at the end of the day you can dress modestly as, and someone will still sexualize you this is how this is where the world has come today you only can try your best but at the end of the day, dressing modesty will give you that less influence. You'll give that less influence to people to sexualize you. Like when you go outside and you see people dress like half revealing and all that stuff, it's more likely for them to be sexualized by men. But dressing modestly is less likely to be sexualized by men because you're covered, you're wearing loose clothes. You might look beautiful like how I look today. <laughs> <clears throat> but you will be covered and people will not sexualize it they'll see you for who you are inside which is absolutely lovely because i want to be known for who i am i don't want to be known for what i am i want to be known for my intellect i want to be known for my intelligence whatever you call it i want to be known for me personally not for what i look like so it's really nice to dress modestly in terms of that so people will actually have the opportunity to get to know you and you will have the opportunity to express yourself in a manner that you want people to perceive you as well so to conclude this video i am gonna do a video soon about how to dress modestly and when i do that video i'll pull a link above for you guys so actually check it out and I'm really looking forward to doing this video because I remember before when I newly started wearing hijab and dressing modestly, it was absolutely hard for me, especially when it came to summer because I didn't know what to wear. I didn't know how to make myself feel comfortable in terms of getting so hot because it was absolutely hot outside. So all I wanted to do was stay inside the house. I love staying inside the house in general, but it made me feel like I needed to stay at home to be comfortable. But now that I know how to dress modestly, at the same time feel comfortable with the weather, I want to share that story with you guys. So I'll put the link above and I hope you guys check it out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely day.